Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be creating our spatial database using a tool called PG Admin. So PG Admin will allow us to write data manipulation queries as well as do administrative tasks on PostgreSQL. So let's open up PG Admin. So select start and then search for PG Admin. Then click on PG Admin. So this will start the PG Admin application and the PG Admin agent will run in the background. Okay, and then click on the servers drop down. So the password we said for everything would be Postgres. And then select the save checkbox so you don't need to type it in every time. Okay, and then click on databases. So you can see that our PostgreSQL example spatial database was created for us. So this means that PostGIS is installed and is working, but we want to create our own spatial database. So we right click on databases and then select create database. So the name of our database will be CPT water and then click on save. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a login role for our database so that we can access the database from within our application as well as be able to create tables. So we right click on login roles and then select login or group role. Okay, and then the name of our role will be water watch in small caps. And then we select definition and we give it a password. The password will also be Postgres. And then we click on privileges. So we want to make this a super user. So we just select super user. And then we also want to be able to log in with this role. And then we save. Okay, so now we have created our login role. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to grant all privileges on our database to our new user. So we right click CPT water. And then we select the query tool. Okay, so we're going to execute some simple queries to do this. So the first one is grant all privileges on database CPT water to water watch. And then we select the run button. Okay, so we can see the query ran successfully. So all the privileges on our database has been given to the water watch user, which is what we want. Okay, so now the next thing that we will do is we will add the spatial extensions to our database to make it a spatial database. Okay, so we'll run two queries. So it's create extension, post GIS, and then click run. Okay, so that was successful. And then the next query that we will run is create extension, post GIS topology, and then click run. Okay, so that was also successful. So now we have created our spatial database and now our database is capable of storing spatial data. So now we have created the spatial database and user for our application. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.